an undrafted free agent who will be part of the Falcons roster. Despite having only six picks in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons managed to make good use of their capital and formed a very solid class of players, including some possible steals that could have an immediate impact on the team next season. While there's an understandable understanding that there's a lot of hype around running back Bijan Robinson and offensive tackle Matthew Bergeron, who will open up many running routes for one of the top contenders for offensive rookie of the year, it's important to heed the rumors about the class of players not selected by the Falcons, especially free agents. With the team's mandatory rookie minicamp approaching, May 12th to 13th, let's look at which undrafted rookie free agent will make the Falcons' final roster. While every prospect dreams of being drafted, it can sometimes be beneficial for players to enter the open market as priority undrafted free agents, as it allows them to choose their destiny. From newer stars like QB Tony Romo, RB Arian Foster, W.R. Wes Welker, T.E. Antonio Gates and L.B. James Harrison, to Hall of Fame legends like QB Warren Moon, QB Kurt Warner, D.T. John Randall and C.B. Richard, Knight Train, Lane, there's plenty of evidence that undrafted players can make a big impact in the NFL. This leads us to ask, which 2023 undrafted free agents are most likely to be selected to the Falcons' final roster? According to Thor Nystrom of the Fantasy Pros, the Falcons had the worst undrafted player class of any NFC team. However, identifying unselected free agents with potential impact is not an exact science, it's an art. Often, when candidates with low draft scores are not selected, it is because of character issues, medical concerns, or perceived limitations such as size, game system, or level of competition faced in college. In addition, there are other players that are ignored because they are considered as projects with high potential for development in the future. This applies to the Falcons' top undrafted free agent, Ikena Enichukwu. An undrafted player who will be included on the Falcons roster. While Ikena Enichukwu didn't stand out much in stats during her time at Rice, recording 30 tackles with 18.5 tackles for loss and 9 sacks over the past two years, it's important to note that her technique is still inexperienced. However, Nystrom acknowledged that Enichukwu has important characteristics for an NFL player, such as size, length and speed. Therefore, it could have great potential to stand out in the future. To establish himself in Atlanta's defense, which has a 3-4 formation, the 6-4, 264-pound quarterback may need to gain more muscle mass. However, he has already shown to have the stamina needed to make that transition. With keen instincts, intelligence, physical ability and a lean body build, the player has the potential to evolve. In addition, he has good upper body strength, which can be improved over time. As a result, he can learn a lot from veteran players like Grady Jarrett and Calais Campbell. Before the draft, when asked about his favorite defensive scheme, Enichukwu shared with Justin Berenzen of the NFL Draft Diamonds that he prefers a one-gap scheme that involves a lot of penetration and offense. According to him, this type of scheme is fun because it allows more freedom and opportunities to harass the opponent. While the Falcons have made some smart decisions in free agency, like the signings of defensive tackle David Onyemita, the aforementioned Campbell, linebacker Caden Ellis, safety Jesse Bates and cornerbacks Mike Hughes, Trey Flowers and Jeff Okuda, they may still need add more competition to your defensive group. Last season, they produced the second fewest sacks, 21, in the league and finished in the bottom 10 in multiple defensive metrics.